it's WrestleMania. Pat's going to discuss the card that's currently in play. <laughs> WrestleMania is less than a month away. And I want to talk about what's been going on. Wrestling. Uh, the build-up to this card has been strange. Just because usually with WrestleMania, there is a build-up of like four or five months that happens for not all the matches, but the main two or three. And especially the main one from Royal Rumble. That's usually usually the Royal Rumble winner facing the champ at WrestleMania. That's usually the main event. That's usually this is the this is what our entire year has revolved around in terms of storyline. Because storylines usually in WWE, in theory, are year to year, starting after WrestleMania and beginning the new one and then ending at the next WrestleMania. This year though has been strange. Uh, for a few reasons. They have, they have a lot of part-timers now that are coming back. Um, you have two different titles. That, they split the championship out between the Universal Championship on Raw because of the brand split and the WWE Championship on SmackDown. So you have, you have a lot of stuff going on here. And you have, you know, two different women's championships. You have the Cruiserweight now. Two different tags. You, you've had five different uh, titles created in the past, you know, seven, eight months. So it's, it's just a lot to sort of digest and it's uh, a lot to take in. So the builds haven't been, I think, where they should be. But I think this card is, right now, hit or miss. And I'm going to run down what you're looking at in terms of uh, the WrestleMania matches as they stand. This is pretty much going to be final for the most part. Uh, and I'll, I'll go from least important to most important. Yeah, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I don't care, to be honest, because... Um, they haven't done that much with this in terms of pushing people and in terms of what's the long, you know, what's the lasting impact? Like winning the King of the Ring, it usually propels you. Obviously, winning the Royal Rumble propels you up. But, you know, you had Cesaro uh, win it. They they didn't really do anything with his push, right? What did they do with that? I don't know. Big Show, they did it basically as, as a reward for being with the company for almost 20 years. Baron Corbin winning last year. That, that, they did use that sort of as a jumping off point for his WWE career. And I think Baron Corbin has potential to be a, a, a big player. I like the character, sort of the lone wolf. I do like that. He has a good entrance. He's improving in the ring. And I, lo I love the fact that uh, Baron Corbin, Corbin is a true heel in terms of he doesn't like anyone. Like usually traditionally heels like other heels. He doesn't give a shit if you're AJ Styles, the character. He doesn't like you. If you're, a, you know, a good guy, he doesn't like you. He's a, a, a lone wolf. Uh, so that's important to me because that's sort of a original spin on a heel character. You don't see it that much. So that's the, the, the Battle Royal. It's, to me, a nice little add-on to the event. And especially gives... gives other uh, wrestlers who don't have a, a main part of the card. Something to do. Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. All right. This I have a huge problem with. Uh, I'm not going to mince wor words. AJ Styles, arguably the best wrestler in the world, even at, what is he, 37, 38 years old. He comes in in his first year after sort of a, you know, he had the, the fiery beginning at the Royal Rumble. They make him a face at first. He has sort of a, not lackluster feud with, with Chris Jericho, but it wasn't as good probably as it could have been. Jericho was just coming back. They had their little tag team. They fought each other at WrestleMania. After that, though, uh, Styles goes on fire, has match of the year candidate uh, with uh, John Cena, beats Cena cleanly, uh, wins the title from Dean Ambrose, defends the title, basically carries SmackDown on his back, especially while Cena was gone for a few months. AJ Styles was the wrestler of the year for WWE, in my opinion, carried SmackDown the new show in terms of splitting off SmackDown Live on his back. SmackDown Live is critically the better show. I think most fans agree week to week. It's a better written show, better wrestled show at least. It's two hours it's compact. But then it, it gets better ratings somehow for some weeks for, than Raw, which is in, that never happened in the past where SmackDown would do better ratings than Raw, mainly due to the quality of, of the wrestling again, the storylines, and AJ Styles carrying it. So how do you reward him for that? Well, you have him do the yearly fight now with Shane McMahon. Shane's a guy that, uh, to me, he's you know he's earned 
you know, he wants to fight someone at WrestleMania. He wants to be in a match. That's fine. Shane has, you know, he's he's earned his way into wanting to do these matches. He's done the death-defying stunts. But he's not a good wrestler, though. And that's the problem, is that he is not going to... And, and AJ Styles can wrestle a wet mop, obviously, and carry a good match. But but Shane McMahon is not a, a full-time wrestler. He's more of a glorified stuntman at this point in his career. He's older. He, he had a really bad concussion last year off that Roman Reigns spear. Um... I'm not fearful for AJ Styles. He'll be he'll probably be okay for this match working with a, a quote unquote non wrestler. I just think that the, at the quote unquote grandest stage of, of them all, you could do a lot better for using AJ Styles to put on a great match with someone, whether it's uh, Samoa Joe or, or or anyone else you want to try to put him with. I think that's not the best use uh, use of AJ Styles. I'm just gonna say I think it's sort of like well he was champ for a while. We need, we need someone for, with Shane to wrestle. AJ, will you do it? You'll make Shane look, look look great. AJ's a company man. He'll be like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. I'm just disappointed. I would have loved to see if AJ kept his title but until WrestleMania and lose it, but obviously that's not the plan. I think they're going to turn AJ Styles' face this year. It makes sense. He gets huge a huge reaction because people realize just how damn good he is. And he's on the microphone in terms of his charisma. He's done, I think, better than anyone could have expected coming over from New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice. It it is what it is. I think Nikki Bella is thinking about retiring. I'm not positive. Miz has had had the year the year of his life last year of his career, rejuvenated as the IC champion. Really like what The Miz has been doing. Um not a throwaway match entirely. This sort of intergender uh, match, if you can call it that or well, they're not fighting men versus women, but you know what I mean. I, it is what it is. I think it'll be fine. Undertaker versus Roman Reigns. Um, I don't th- think this is horrible. Um, they need Undertaker to have a, a, an opponent. Reigns, I think they want to turn heel. I think they're, they're still holding out some sort of hope that Reigns is going to be accepted as a face. I don't see it happening. You might as well turn him heel. And you could do this through the match with Undertaker. If you have, say if you have Reigns, uh, cheat to win, get chairs kill the Undertaker. I think that'll finally do it for a heel turn if you want to do it like that. Yes, Undertaker would lose. He's already lost to Brock Lesnar now, so he can lose again uh, if he wants to, to Roman Reigns. If he wants to, you know, have him do that. It, it could work. Um, I'm not... I, I'm, a, I'm a fan in terms of Roman Reigns in terms of him developing a character that people actually want to watch. Because right now, you know, the problem is, is that most people don't, don't want to see him as a face. They don't. Cruiserweight Championship match. Neville versus Austin Aries. I fucking love Neville as, you know, the king of the Cruiserweights. Cruiserweights, another rejuvenation of a character. Uh, kind of a bland face character, and he's great with the beard. Austin Aries, great on commentary. Good to see him back from his injury. That'll be a solid match. Women's Championship. Alexa Bliss versus SmackDown Women's Roster. I hate these sort of matches. I think Alexa Bliss has done a, done a fine job in the role. Uh, I love the character, although she's sort of a well, sort of was a Harley Quinn esque and coming into her own, uh, her own character. I think she's cute too. All the other side, uh, the entire SmackDown roster. I, I just don't like these these matches just because they're too gimmicky, and then it's either they overcome all odds somehow by cheating to win, or they get screwed out of their their title because they didn't really lose it because they, they're unfair. I just don't like it, that sort of setup. Raw tag team match. Gallows and Anderson versus Enzo and Kaz and Sheamus and Cesaro. Uh, triple threat matches don't bother me as much when they're for a title, when they're a tag team, because you have better, I think, usually interaction between different sets of people. And you get those moments for, like, you know, uh, finisher, near fall, semi finisher, or broken up. So I want to see Gallows and Anderson do a, do a deep run, though, because I think they should have had these titles, like, I, you know, like six, seven months ago. They should have had these titles. I understand they wanted to have New Day, who are the hosts, by the way, of WrestleMania. They wanted to keep them to beat Demolition's record, whatever. But I think Gallus Anderson are way overdue. They need to hold these titles for a while because otherwise they look like a joke. Uh, women's Championship match, another triple threat. Bailey versus Sasha Banks versus Charlotte Flair. The Women's Raw Championship has been bouncing around way too often. Uh, you know, when you have Charlotte Flair... Charlotte Flair already a four-time champion, and and you have Sasha, what, two or three already? Way too soon. 
for it to be bouncing back and forth, injuries or, or what whatnot. You got to keep it, keep the title where it is for a while there. U.S. Uh, title match, Jericho versus Owens. Uh, I think the word is that Jericho is going away to work on uh, Fozzy Osborne again. So I expect him to lose, and he should, to Kevin Owens uh, to get the U.S. title back, which he did have at one point and did a good run with it. Uh, I don't like the fact, though, that they are uh, not going to have the rematch because usually traditional that, you know, you lose the title, you get the rematch. He's not going to have a rematch uh, with Goldberg for the title. But Owens will do a, have a great, one, great run with the U.S. belt. He'll bring more significance to it as well. Uh, WWE Championship match, Bray Wyatt versus Orton. The disappointment with the Royal Rumble was I wanted Bray to win. I wanted this to be reversed. I wanted Bray to to uh, win the belt. Excuse me, excuse me, win the Royal Rumble and then win the belt at Mania. But they wanted to capitalize on the Randy Orton. Randy Orton hasn't won the Rumble in forever, so they wanted to have him win it. Okay, but it's also built into his turning against Bray uh, angle. I understand that. I just wish that Bray got that big rub off of winning the Royal Rumble versus winning it in uh, Elimination uh, Chamber. But uh, I think Bray will retain this, and I think he should. I think if Orton wins this, it's sort of like, okay, then why why have Bray get the title for like a month, and what's the point? Especially after you beat someone like John Cena. I don't, I don't, I don't see the, uh, the point of that. And then finally, the match that could be either really good or really bad, we will see. Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. Um, two part-timers fighting in the main event, or what could be the main event. They had a minute and 30 second match at Survivor Series that I saw the point of. I, I kind of agreed with it. But then you had uh, Lesnar get tossed out in the Rumble by Goldberg easily again. So with that said, there's no way Goldberg retains the title, nor should he. Uh, he hasn't wrestled more than a minute and a half ma- uh, match since he's been back. You know, he hasn't um, defended the title at all since he won it. He's not, you know, wrestling matches. Uh, Lesnar has to win that match. Do I agree that this match should have happened for the title? No, I don't. But that was probably one of the conditions for Goldberg coming back for his limited run was I want to get the title one more time even though I'm not going to defend it. You know, sort of like when The Rock beat CM Punk, you know, uh, what was that, three, four years back. Come back, beat Punk, just to lose it to Cena. Except Cena wasn't a part-timer back then. Uh, Lesnar is. So Lesnar will win it. Uh, I'm hoping it's not a minute 30. Give uh, 10 minutes. If they work a good 10-minute match, hopefully Goldberg doesn't blow up. Uh, meaning, you know, he, he gasses out. Uh, or maybe there's an injury he's trying to hide. But, you know, you have Lesnar win it. Holds the belt until uh, sometime, you know, maybe, you know, June. Hopefully before SummerSlam. You know, maybe two, three months. He holds it for someone else as a traditional, as a transitional uh, title to someone else on the roster. Who's ready to step up, though? Uh, if it's not Goldberg, you know, maybe Owens comes back and gets it. They have a, a, a Finn Balor come back and win it. Maybe uh, Seth Rollins comes back and wins it. You have some options there. Uh, we'll see. Maybe they shuffle the roster. They AJ Styles come over and face Lesnar. That'd be cool. That'd be, that'd be awesome. But we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'm interested in seeing some of the outcomes of the matches. I don't like the booking of a few, but I think this will be a good card for the most part. And I am overall looking forward to it with some some heavy caveats. <laughs>